So I don't know if I'm going to be able to video the lance in operation or not, so I thought I'd uh, have a little kind of static dry run here to show you procedurally how I have to use this lance with the uh, crucible cap. So here you see the lance is suspended in the lid. It can travel up and down and get locked in place with the, with the lid lift. And it can also be positioned depth-wise with respect to the lid. The idea there being you can have it in the position that it's in right now and have it preheating while you're uh, processing the melt. And then you can drop it into the melt um, with the crucible hat, uh, finding home and centering, self-centering on the crucible during the degassing period. So maybe just a close up here of how that's going to work. You see that I got this little pinch clamp on here and a little T-handled uh, Allen screw to pinch it. That's how I position the lance up and down this direction in the melt after the lid's been dropped on. The uh, plug that you see right here is actually split and that's because and I got these little T-handles on it and that's so I can extract the lance afterwards because I can't pull the lance out of the lid because the crucible hat's bigger than the diameter um, of the vent hole. So I actually just lift the lid off over the lance. So maybe here if I kind of pull back and show you uh, video wise here, if I can get pan back far enough. Here, set this up here. Yeah, I think that'll do it. So, all right, if I can stay out of the way. So, um, crystal in there, charge of uh, aluminum ingot in, start the process, just drop the, the lance and the lid all together, fire up the furnace, um, get the melt. After you get the melt uh, where you want it and you want to start degassing, uh, just loosen up the screw here and drop the lance. You can feel it when, when the uh, lid hits the crucible because um, the weight comes off of it. And then you actually can just leave it set on the bottom of the crucible while you're degassing. And then uh, when, you're, when you're through degassing, you can do one of two things. You can either extract the lance all the way or you can just extract the lance far enough uh, to get it out of the melt. And right here I can feel it starting to hit the crucible lid, so I'll stop right there. And if I let the lance and leave the gas on, then um, I basically have the area above the melt uh, being argon blanketed. So until you're ready to take the melt out, you can let it sit there underneath uh, an argon uh, blanket. But then uh, either remove the hose or just shut off the gas uh, to it, and you can extract the lance all the way, like so. You can see the thermocouple starting to pop up there. That's where I know it's at the top. And just tighten that, and so that's how I intend to use it now. To actually uh, extract the lance, um, that's a little bit more difficult, um, but to get the lance out of the lid, um, so I can take uh, temperature readings and so on, um, that's what I got the handles on these for, because I can pull the plug out, like so, store those, and then when you take the hose off the lance and lift the lid, then you can actually extract the lance from the furnace so you can do your thing. So procedurally, that's kind of what has to happen there. Also, uh, you can see here on the hat, the hat's got a pretty uh, generous uh, uh, radius lip on there, so it self-centers pretty easily um, on the uh, crucible. You do have to take a little bit of care to make sure you set up the crucible um, fairly close to center, um, but it's got enough clearance between the plug and the crucible uh, hat and the diameter of the shaft of the lance. It, it seems to self-center pretty well. So that's pretty much it. I can, it looks like I can, uh, on the first couple of uh, melts I had where I used the lance just on the uh, uh, on some ingot stock and processing some spruce stock and stuff. Seemed to work pretty well, so I'm actually going to use it um, on a melt today. Uh, lost foam casting, where I'm going to pour that uh, uh, chainsaw cylinder head um, that I'll post up a little later on. So that's it for now.